I'm Wade with Thoroughbred Diesel and today we're going to talk to you about a breakout box for a VP44 truck. If you own a 1998 to 2002 VP44 Dodge truck or you happen to work on these trucks quite a bit, you've heard the term breakout box. We actually, as a Cummins distributor, we actually sell the official Cummins breakout box, which is what we're going to talk to you about today. So we're going to introduce you to the box, we're going to introduce you to the tool, and we're also going to show you how to properly use it. Now. I want to talk just a little bit about the breakout box. So just an overview of what the breakout box does. The breakout box will allow your VP44 truck to run independently of the ECM. That is, that is its basic, basic function. Now, what happens here is one thing that this will not replace. If you have a lift pump failure or the truck is out of fuel, which is a very, very common thing with 98 to 02 trucks because the fuel gauges in them all break, at a quarter of a tank of fuel, you're on vapor's last lung anyway. So this will not fix your truck or it will not tell you if your truck has a problem with lift pump pressure. It will not tell you if you're low on fuel or you've got cavitation of the fuel or air in the fuel or anything like that. What this is gonna do is this is gonna tell you if you've had an ECM failure of the truck that is not allowing the truck to start or if you've got a wiring harness failure that's not allowing the truck to start. Some other failures that you're, some other uh, failure modes that you're gonna see that this is gonna isolate. So a lot of times on ECM, on VP44 trucks is what we see happening is you'll start the truck and then all of a sudden it's at 3,000 RPM just right out of the gate. You just look at the throttle and it goes wide open. This will isolate that because it isolates the VP44 from the ECM power and control supply. So I just wanted to um, bring out a VP44 here today and I wanted to show you how this hooks up before we go installing it on the truck um, and when you won't be able to see quite as much as what we're doing. So here is the breakout box itself. You've got the controller hookup where it hooks to the back of the VP44. You have the control box itself and it's got a high and low idle button on that and I'll show you the functionality of that uh, here in just a second. And then you've got a fuel shut off button as well. Then you have the power and the ground leads that hook directly to your battery. So I'm going to show you outside of the truck how this actually hooks up. So the VP44. The computer on the top of the VP44 is called the PSG. You'll hear us talk about the PSG quite a bit. Uh, this is the outward side where your fuel lines hook into the VP44, so just remember that. I'm gonna turn this kind of forward here to where I can show you the fuel pump module hooking on. So to hook this on, you just make sure that the bale is slid out completely and then slide this on the PSG of the pump and then push the bale forward and the bale will engage, excuse me, the bale will engage the two tabs that are on the pump that drive it on home and lock it in there. Now, that's actually a very good representation of what can happen here. You wanna make sure that these pins inside of these are correct and not, uh, this is actually uh, a, good, um, a good thing on your wiring harness. You wanna make sure that your pins inside of your wiring harness are not pushed back or bent or any of those things and make sure that the pins inside of your PSG as well are in good shape here. It engages these two tabs that are on top of the, the uh, uh, PSG. So again, we just push that on on there and start putting a little bit of pressure on our locking tab until our locking tab goes in and clicks like that. So that is installing a PSG and this is a, just a nice view of the pump outside of the truck so you know what's going on here. So now let's show you how to use the breakout box. Okay, we're ready to hook our VP, our breakout box up to our VP44 truck, and it's worth mentioning it here again, and, and I don't mean to be redundant. We, are, What we're doing is we are working with a no-start condition of this truck or a uh, just a crazy high idle or something like that, or something that we're, we're thinking that it's an ECM failure. Uh, we're trying to isolate that by using this breakout box, and again, worth mentioning again this is not going to tell you if you've got a lift pump problem or if you've got low fuel or no fuel you have to have good fuel supply to the truck even though the breakout box is going to be independently supplied 
independent of the truck's ECM, the ECM is still going to send signal to the lift pump. The lift pump is going to be running. The, the truck is going to be running. So here we go. So first thing you're, that you're going to want to do is you're going to want to make sure that you do not hook up the power wires first. You're going to want to go for the uh, pump wires here on the back of the VP44. So just like we showed you on our model, we just go ahead and take the, tr the bail, pull it out until it clicks and unhook it from the VP44. This is a real good time to check your pins to make sure that none of them are bent or pushed back in or anything of that nature. We see a lot of failures like that. So now we're gonna break, bring the breakout box hook up in here. So I'm gonna go ahead and slide. All right, push it up until it clicks, just like that. So now we've got our breakout box on the VP44. We'll come out underneath of the hood here. There's a lot of cord with this unit. So I will go ahead and wind my box out till I've got enough room and I've got it away from my fan because you don't want to, especially if you're trying to do this by yourself, you don't want this to get caught up in the fan. Then you're gonna take the ground and hook it to your battery ground here. And then you're going to hook it to your positive. You're going to notice that you heard the VP44 click. That is completely normal. The power light on the breakout box will light up. Now you can just get inside and simply start the truck. So we've got our truck running. You'll notice that it's got a little bit of a different tone at idle here. Okay, so what we're gonna wanna do now is I'm gonna show you what the high-low idle control does. So the truck is gonna start in the low idle condition per the box. If you wanna change the idle to make sure that the, the truck itself will take throttle control, you can hit the high-low idle button. So hit the high button. The idle will change on the truck. You can let go of it and it will go to the actual high idle. So the truck, when you first start it, is gonna start in low idle, but once you pu push this button the first time and release it, it will go to high idle. If you wanna go to low idle, you simply press and hold the high low idle button. Let go of it, it goes back to high idle. Press and hold it, it goes to low idle. When you're ready to shut the truck off, you hit the shut off button while you have it at low idle. I like to do it at low idle. I think it's easier on the truck. So you just hit the shut off button here, press and hold, shuts the truck off. There you go. So that is functionality of a breakout box. Again, this is not gonna tell you if you've got a problem with your lift pump system or you're out of fuel, cavitation in the fuel or anything like this. This is basically to diagnose a no start condition on a truck that you're trying to figure out whether you've got an ECM problem or if you've got a VP44 problem. This makes the VP44 completely independent of the ECM. Nothing downstream of the ECM is gonna be able to uh, mess this pump up. It, on a VP44, if you've got a, if you're wanting to figure out if it's a VP or the ECM, it's no start condition. You know, you've got good lift pump. This is going to tell you the two. You put this on there and the truck doesn't start, you're probably looking at VP44. This is a very, very good tool for shops that are doing a lot of VP44 installations. I definitely and I definitely suggest for you to have this on, uh, have this on your shelf. Very good tool for diagnostics. If you have a question about this installation or if you have a question about this tool or any of the uh, any of our other videos, if you've got any questions about how to check lift pump pressure or uh, or any of the things that lead up to VP44 diagnosis, and if we can help you with the purchase of a VP44, uh, we will be glad to do that as well. Uh, I'm Wade with Thoroughbred Diesel. If you've got any questions, give us a call. Thank you.